Hi Gemini, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-February 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. <clears throat> also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Alright Gemini, what is the major theme for mid-February for Gemini? We have Rising Above, Clarity, Freedom, Solution. I absolutely love this card. It's also a number 11. And this talks about freedom. It talks about finding solutions, all right, to problems, being able to see the bigger picture, and just really coming out strong and independent and free from whatever the situation is, all right? Um, could be you, could be your person. Let's get into it and see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, I, because cards are just dropping all over the place. Alright, I'm taking this chariot as the, <clears throat> just as a complimentary card here to go with rising above and it is the chariot all right so whatever this is that is happening right now um, this clarity this finding solutions it's going to happen fast you are in that direction or your person is in that direction all right so let's see what is going on with you we have the king of swords the four of wands and the lovers Ooh. okay gemini you are being very um, determined, decisive, having a lot of clarity um, when it comes to what you are thinking about a very specific connection here. I feel like there's a lot of love here. There is somebody that you just share a very, very special bond with. Um, it could be two different situations here. It could be that one is a commitment and one is <clears throat> another relationship where you feel this, this love. And for some of you, it could be the same the same situation okay so it really depends on 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 each of you but I feel like whatever the case is you're you're either making a decision here or finding a solution for whatever it is that is happening we'll see more when we clarify so for your person we have the page <clears throat> of swords the palace of coins which is Pentacles and the Queen of Cups so <clears throat> somebody here, because like I said, for some of you, it might be that you're dealing with two different situations. And of course, don't forget the roles can be reversed. Um, somebody here is really keeping an eye on you, I feel, and thinking a lot about you. Um, just really trying to understand the situation and what it is that is going on, I feel, with you. Um... Whoever this is, this is a person who really wants commitment. So it could even be the same person. If, if, if there are two different situations, it could be the person that you are in this commitment with. That's how it's coming through. For those of you that have two different situations going on, I feel like the person that you are, that you have a more formal commitment to, um, this person wants to stay in this commitment with you. The person that you have this special bond or relationship with, it could be somebody else, holds a lot of love for you. Now, if it is the same person, well then just take both messages. It could be though that this person or one of them is um, kind of coming at this from a little bit of a more immature um, space than you possibly. But I feel like it's because they have not understood something within the connection, something with what is going on here with you. Let's see what is coming up. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Star, and the Queen of Swords. 
All right, so there is some balance and healing that is showing up here. Again, a lot of clarity. I love that we have both the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords because that is just really um, <clears throat> reinforcing this very first card here about clarity and freedom. So things are definitely moving in that direction. All right, and let's see, the final message for you is the Ace of Swords. All right, yeah, we do have quite a bit of swords, um, which is in your element here. This is action. This is action based on truth. This is such a beautiful reading. I love this reading, Gemini. Wow. All right, let's, let's see, let's clarify. Let's clarify that King of Swords for you. All right, we have the King of Cups and we also have Justice. Wow. This is like the best reading ever, <laughs> so far at least. I hope I don't jinx it. Um, <clears throat> so with the King of Cups and Justice, this is you not only using your head in the way that you are thinking, right? You're not just having that clarity and using logic, but you're also using your heart. I feel like you are beginning to combine both your feelings as well as your thoughts in order to move in the right direction and make a decision here, okay? Um, this is a lot of, I feel, decisiveness, basically, and determination to make a decision or to follow through with a decision, which I'm actually getting with this Ace of Swords. Is that following through? Let's see the Four of Wands. All right, we have the Three of Cups and the Six of Swords. So it could be that whatever this is, this, um, this situation here, it may have been the case that there this mm, this is either somebody from your past or somebody that it was once a fun situation it felt light but there's some kind of a moving away from that because i feel like there was some kind of issue some kind of problems that came up because otherwise why would you want to move away from that and move, it almost feels like you're moving away from this type of an energy and moving to the lovers. Let me just clarify the lovers because I, I, I just really feel like this is two different situations for most of you. And if it isn't, it might not resonate. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. It's kind of like this was a commitment. It doesn't have to be a person necessarily, but this was some kind of a situation here that I feel was very strongly rooted um, in your life in some way, whatever that is. It could have been a pattern. It could have been, um, you know, just dating around all the time. The reason why we have the Four of Wands, which does represent commitment usually, is because it's something very, like I said, very <clears throat> firmly rooted within you. And even though that served you at one point, I feel like it doesn't serve you anymore. And this is what you are having clarity over. And so you are wanting to move away from that and move towards what you feel is going to be your, your wish fulfillment. All right, which is this lovers here, which could be a specific person. It could just be the energy of wanting something different that maybe you haven't even um, found yet, or maybe you haven't met this person or this situation or whatever, but you, you are very, very decisive that you want love. You want something that is going to completely you and you know what that is. You know what it is that would fulfill you. And that's the direction you want to move towards. And that might mean having to leave something else behind that that you may have gotten used to. Um, and it, like I said, it did serve you, and maybe it still does in some way, but... All right. <clears throat> Let's see the page of swords for your person. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is interesting. You're, so I feel like this one of these people 
okay, if it's two different people. It doesn't have to be, as I said. It could be a situation. Somebody here, though, is trying to emotionally detach from you. I feel like it could be that they haven't figured you out yet, as I said. They're trying to understand. And because they don't, they're trying to emotionally keep a distance from you, but they're still keeping an eye on you. They're still curious about what it is that you are doing. Let's see the Palace of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so somebody here is waiting waiting to see if there's going to be a commitment. If it's another, it, <clears throat> again, it really depends on your specific situation, all right? But it feels like there could be somebody that is trying to set things up in a way to have this, to have a commitment with you or to stay in a commitment with you, okay? If it's somebody that you are already with. But I feel like this person is really trying to organize things and do things in a certain way so as to keep you committed. Um, if it's a job, for example, um, it could just be that the energy of, of that work or of that job is such that it, it makes it difficult for you to, to move away from it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a person. Let's see the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> the Hanging Man. Okay, so there's somebody here, like I said, um, if there's a specific person here that you are feeling this lover's energy towards, that would fulfill you. This person has a lot of love for you. They have a lot of emotions, a lot of love, but they're holding back. And again, it's um, it looks to me as if this person would be holding back, like this Hanging Man. Um until you complete this um, this decision, this action, or whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like they, they too are waiting. It's like a lot of waiting energies from, from the other side of you, whether it be one situation, one person, or, or multiple. All right, so let's see, let's see what's coming up because the near future is looking pretty good as well. All right, so clarifying the Six of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords. So, hmm. I, uh, you know what it lo this looks like to me? This looks like in order for there to be a balancing out, in order for there to be some even type of um, reciprocity, and in order for your energy to be distributed in the energy of justice, all right, in, in the right way, and of course right is relative, what is right for you might not be right for somebody else, but for whatever is right for you and for your highest good and of this situation, that is gonna require um, for you to really go after what it is that you want, even if that means that it might disappoint someone else or something else. It's kind of like, even if there's a part of you that's going to have to um, suffer a loss, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone else. I feel like in order for there to be this balance here, in order for you to be able to provide your energy where it is that you want it to go, which I feel is this lovers with this nine of cups here. It's like you're really gonna have to put yourself first and it might not feel all that great. <clears throat> Some parts of it might not feel all that great, but I feel like even those negatives, the negative emotions that might come up based on that, they're going to be healed, all right? Because you have the star here. <clears throat> so let me clarify the star. I feel like there's some divine guidance here overall for this whole situation. So star. The 
Five of Wands. Interesting that, you know, these cards are so positive and then they're clarified by not the best, um, not the best cards. So yes, there's going to be healing and this healing is going to have to, it's going to revolve around possible disagreements with other people or what it is that <clears throat> like whatever, whoever it is that's going to be disappointed, that, that conflict is what is going to be healed. Because that is something that maybe you have been struggling with. And I feel like that, that opposition that you might have from others, you will be able to heal that from within yourself and really put yourself first. And not only that, I feel like the, even these disputes are going to be healed. Like, I'm telling you guys, this is like the best reading ever. All right, let's see the Queen of Swords. Here we go, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I actually feel like this is your person. I feel like because you showed up here as the King of Swords, I feel like this is um, possibly the person or the direction that you are moving towards. Even though if this is the person that may have been a little bit immature or not, not necessarily immature, but just trying to detach their emotions because they don't know what's going on and they are just keeping an eye on you, investigating the situation, but at the same time trying to detach, I feel like this person is going to begin to see things more clearly the more this situation progresses. And even though they might be keeping their distance still and you know possibly seeming a little cold in a way or distant, I feel like that's going to change here with the Eight of Wands. Um, there's going to be a shift and some movement from that. Um, but I feel like that is going to come through when there is honest communication. Let's see the Ace of Swords for the for your message from Spirit, the High Priestess. Yes, okay, so action based on intuition. Like I said, I, I love this. This is so similar to the King of Swords being um, together here, clarified by the King of Cups. This is like action based, again, on logic, but also coming from within. A, a, a combination of the mind and the soul and intuition. All right, so there's definitely movement and action being taken on truth by you. And I feel like even this, this lover's energy here, whatever it is, it's here. Like, it's coming. If it's not here already, it's coming. Um, it's there. It's all a matter of you allowing yourself to move towards that and overcoming these obstacles and not giving up. Wow. And again, the rules can be reversed, all right? Very Gemini. I really love this reading. <laughs> all right, let's see. <clears throat> This is a lot of freedom here also, by the way, just as that very first card said, all right, with this Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess. I feel like it's freedom just from, from any obstacles. So if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and let's see your final Oracle message. Ooh. All right, we have Deep Knowing and blessed. Yeah, I feel like this is true for for anybody who is involved in this situation. I feel like you all have a deep knowing, but most of all you have a deep knowing of where it is that you want to go and where it is that you belong and what is it that is meant for you, okay, with this blessed card. There's a connection here. There is somebody in, in your life or coming into your life where this relationship between the two of you is blessed. It's like it's it's where you are meant to be. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.